Hi, this is Sarah Geringer, and I have a meditation on the names of God in Isaiah from the One Year Bible reading for September 11th. Now today, the verse I've chosen actually has four names of God in it, and they're all so good that I want to do all four of them quickly for you. And you may be familiar with this verse. It's one of the most well-known verses in Isaiah. It's from Isaiah 9-6, and I'm using the NLT version, and it says, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So those four names right there all point to Jesus, his divinity, and his role in the Trinity of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So let's talk about this. Wonderful Counselor. Often we hear that name described for the Holy Spirit, Paraclete. So Counselor can mean Advocate, um, someone who pleads your case for you. So uh, that is what the Lord has done for me and for you if you believe in the God of the Bible. Also, I like to actually meditate on this verse thinking of God as my counselor in terms of I have seen a counselor since 2009 and he is wise, he's compassionate, he's insightful, he's very caring, and he can often see things that I can't see, and he helps me in my deepest places of need. So I actually think of God as my wonderful counselor. He knows me even better than my counselor uh, here on earth knows me, and that gives me comfort. So let's go to the second name, Mighty God. Now we've been talking about this one name of God in Isaiah, the Lord of Heaven's Armies. That's that's my favorite name of God in this book. And Isaiah uses that term over and over and over again. And it's to talk about God's power. And so mighty God means that God can do anything. I was just thinking about this verse. I just got back from a prayer walk. And a few years ago, my meditation verse of the whole year, I always pick one for the whole year. A few years ago, it was Mark 9, 23. And it says, everything is possible for the one who believes. Now, the power is not in the person who believes. It's because God is so big and mighty that he can do anything that he wants to. And so that is a great name of God for us to meditate on when our problems seem really big. Okay, the third name is Everlasting Father. So what I think about this, now we know in this verse, Isaiah is prophesying about Jesus because he said, for a child is born to us, a son is given to us. So he's speaking of the future Messiah and the government will rest on his shoulders, okay? So when he says Everlasting Father, now the uh, Jewish people would have always thought of God the Father as the Father. And so one of the most controversial things that um, Jesus said was, I and the Father are one. And that just drove them really to anger and wanting to plot to kill him because they couldn't believe that he was divine just like the Father God God the Father that we see so powerfully in the Old Testament. They couldn't stand that. But with this prophetic name here in Isaiah, Isaiah is even saying that the promised son, the promised Messiah is going to be at one with the Father. And when we think about the word everlasting, it means infinite. It means beyond time. So it's, again, a sign of divinity and I also think that that's a comfort to me when I think about God being over time, over the whole scope of my life, so he knows what's next even when I don't know. And so I can 
voice my fears about the future with him and trust him because he can see the beginning and the end and the middle that I'm in right now. So that's what I think of when I think of Everlasting Father. So then probably my favorite one is Prince of Peace. I write and speak about finding peace in God's word. So peace is probably the fruit of the spirit upon which I focus the most in my ministry. But also I need that peace myself. And we know that the Hebrew people talked about shalom. That was their word for peace. And that's not just one component. It's when everything in your life is harmonized and set right and uh, covered over with the Father's love. That's the kind of peace that I want. Peace that passes all understanding. The New Testament tells us that because it's from the Holy Spirit. It's not from my circumstances. It's not from any uh, religious activity that I do. It's not by my generation that that kind of shalom comes about, but it's because because God gives it to me by the power of the Holy Spirit through the work of Jesus with the blessing of the Father. So I hope that those four names of God encourage you today. It's Isaiah 9 verse 6 and there are more names of God in this reading so I encourage you to get your one-year Bible out and dig into the names of God in this reading and let the Holy Spirit speak to you in your situation today about the name of God that can mean the most to you and I'll see you back tomorrow with another name of God from Isaiah.